The reality is that somebody's gonna die. What, what is, I mean, what that look like, right? What that smell like? You're not ready for that. This is Sergeant Major Edgar Fuentes, and he has PTSD. Something that didn't fit with his image of a soldier. Uh, the only thing that you hard, your soul, you hard, suck it up and drive on. When did it start to feel like it was not gonna go away? I was having dreams three out of four times a week. He didn't realize he was sick until a friend, a role model, came to him. And uh, he said something that threw me off. He said, don't leave me alone. And to hear him say that, it's tough. When I saw him go through, I said, it's a mirror. And that's why I need help. So what'd you do? So I, I seek help. And for the first time, I was talking to somebody that didn't know nothing about me. And able to talk and tell me that it's okay. And that's the whole deal about this PTSD crap. You know, you cannot, you cannot think you can handle this shit on your own, man. Now he's in the ring, helping soldiers every day. Time he greatly values. Turn your hip into it. All right. They had done more for me than I ever did for them in any other fight. Dang. What they did for me is, is, is save my life compared for them that is winning a fight. In the ring or in formation, he stands proudly as a role model. The thing about seeing a sorry major is I have issues and I seek help and it's okay. Helps that guy that's struggling. It's not a sign of weakness when you actually seek for help. In fact, it's, it's in the opposite. You know, I, I see you as a stronger person, as a soldier, as a leader. Thing. If you want to improve yourself by seeking help. Oops. Hey, you see what I'm saying? 